in a fluster, she hurriedly picked up the paper. She headed to the library to borrow a book, but the librarian noticed the book suddenly disappearing, only to reappear on the shelf when she looked up again. As Diana flipped through the books in the library, the lights flickered in response to her movements, revealing hidden text on the pages that imprinted under her hands. Upon leaving the library, she noticed a man passing by, feeling oddly familiar it was her deceased father. But as she turned back, he had vanished. Simultaneously, a man observed her strange behavior and sought her out, investigating her background. It turned out that Diana had a lineage tied to witchcraft. Her ancestor was the first witch, executed in the Salem Witch Trials. The supernatural books she had perused contained methods to kill vampires. The man inquired about the whereabouts of the paranormal book and cautioned her to be careful. Unhappy with the warning and being tracked, Diana concluded the conversation abruptly and left. The woman chanted a spell and waved her hands. The elder wizard beside her widened his eyes in astonishment. Subsequently, the elder explained his purpose to the witch. He sensed Diana's access to the occult book. The elder decided to accompany Sadhu to find Diana and contend for the occult book. He located Diana and initiated a conversation. The elder demanded that she hand over the occult book. Diana rejected him. The elder seized Diana's hand and threatened her to borrow the book. Let go of my arm. Eventually, the elder let her go. Then, he instructed Sadhu to find a way to compel her to surrender the book. One morning, while Diana was out for a run, Sadhu intercepted her. Sadhu grabbed her branded palm. Sadhu hadn't expected Diana's energy to be so strong and consequently release her. That evening, Diana encountered the elder again at an academic conference. The elder once more inquired about the whereabouts of the occult book. Diana, without showing him a pleasant expression, was about to leave. However, the elder used mind control on her brain, attempting to force her to reveal the book's location. I need the book. Enduring severe head pain, the branded palm emitted a go. Diana glared angrily at the elder. Get out of my head! Diana was startled by her own magical powers and hurriedly left. The next day, Diana received a stack of photos sent by the elder. The pictures depicted the tragic scene of her parents' murder. She felt extremely saddened and enraged, so she decided to confide in a friend's home. To her surprise, after knocking on the door, Diana discovered that the elder and her friend were in cahoots. Learning that her friend had betrayed her, Diana stormed off angrily, recalling her friend's persistent inquiries about the occult book. She realized the friend was aiding the elder, so she found the man she had previously cautioned to be careful and decided to collaborate with him. In further pursuit of the truth, Diana returned to the library to find the occult book. However, the book had vanished. At that moment, the elder appeared suddenly, intercepting Diana at the library. When Diana's friend tried to intervene, Get out! The elder cast a spell, knocking him down. Witnessing her friend's harm, Diana was thoroughly provoked by the elder. Suddenly, she unleashed a tremendous gust of wind. She suddenly turned her head. 